Well, I've been talking about our child care crisis in Iowa since I got in the race in June of 2019, and the Iowa Women's Foundation has done an enormous amount of research. It's clear we have a, a crisis here. We're about 350,000 spaces short in Iowa. That's pre-COVID. And then we've seen uh, many hundreds of child care centers close, or if they're reopening only at 50% capacity, uh, whatever you know, rules that they're following. Um, and so that crisis has been exacerbated. There's a number of things we need to do. In my small towns and bigger paycheck plan, um, there are three things I focus on, but two will make a big difference for child care. One, investing in debt-free community college trade schools, technical schools, apprenticeship programs, uh, so that our students get started on that path to earning living wages or starting their own business. Two, investing in capital and credit so those small businesses can grow. Gosh, you know, we're a state of small towns and small businesses. Half, those, half the workers in the state work in those small businesses, like the one that I ran, and half those small businesses don't have access to the credit or capital. So let me give you an example how this might work for childcare. I was out in Rembrandt, Iowa, and met with uh, a young woman who is attending Iowa Lakes Community College in Emmitsburg. She's studying early family childhood education. Boy, she'd sure benefit from having some debt-free uh, community college. Her dream is to open a daycare center, and we need that to happen. And if we had capital and credit available for her uh, when she gets done with her program, maybe a mentorship, mentorship or apprenticeship program also to help her get started, um, she could begin to help us fill that need that we have for childcare across the state, but in particular in our rural areas. I know they're, they're really hurting out there. Yes, thank you. Child care is an issue that I have been working on even prior to the pandemic, and this is a bipartisan issue. So I have worked with members like Jackie Rosen of Nevada, Amy Klobuchar of Minnesota, and many, many others on this issue, and ways that we can provide federal grant dollars um, to different states and provide supports for childcare. So the expansion of childcare centers. So one of the efforts involved allowing nonprofits access to the Small Business Administration and their grant programs and their low interest loan programs. So this will allow um, churches or other types of nonprofits to actually expand their child their child care capabilities. Um, part of the programs that I have supported and been a part of would allow for additional training for our child care workforce. There are significant training that goes along with becoming certified and making sure that, that our kiddos are in a safe environment. So many of us have worked on this, but specifically when it came to COVID, um, and I was a child care desert already, we saw many of our child care centers closing with declining enrollment um, during those isolation, quarantine, um, type periods of time. So making sure that we were able to support those facilities during that time was important, whether it was through the Paycheck Protection Program, which was a huge effort on my part um, and others in the Senate. And again, another bipartisan effort. Um, but also making sure that PPE was available for those child care centers, um, making sure that they could stay open in a safe manner to provide care for our essential workers. Um, I did secure $32 million in the CARES package for the state of Iowa to assist with those uh, child care efforts. And I have now a nine-month bridge um, grant program for child care centers that we are trying to get passed through the next relief package. And that would provide $15 billion across the United States, $10 billion for the child care centers, $5 billion to assist with the payment of child care for the most needy families.